Hello and welcome to another episode of In Studio. Today I'm joined by Sarah Jackman Reed, who's going to show us this really clever 3D gorgeous card that will fold flat to fit in an envelope. Hi Sarah, Hi welcome Katie. along. So we've got a lovely gorgeous project today. Yes, um, it starts Beautiful. out as an 8x8 eight eight card. Okay. And um, yes, yeah, so basically I end up, I just take a piece off the end and that gives us our three dimensional look, it's which beautiful. obviously folds flat so you can still fit it in an envelope. So it's like a bowed front, isn't it? Yes. But then it folds really, really nice and flat for that. So if you needed to pop it in the post. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, what's first? Okay, so I'm just going to take four centimetres. If I just mark four centimetres along there. Lovely. Hopefully I can cut fairly straight. <laughs> so there we have. Good stuff. Oh, so these are the bits we're going to use on the front as well. Oh, brilliant. Yes. So we fold the ends. So we're sort of folding over about, about a centimetre at the end there. Yes. It doesn't need to be precise. It's good. No, it doesn't really. That's what we like. And then just in the ends there, we want to create that little tab. Oh, okay. So again, I'm coming in about half a centimetre. Ah, brilliant. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. So if we stick it behind the front panel. Okay. Pull back or so. And that one goes on the other side. I mean, you might want to use sort of PVA or something for this because it will obviously make it a bit stronger. Okay, But this yep. is just for quickness. I mean, it will hold, but sometimes it's just... Sometimes elements that you're moving around, you might want to <coughs> make them a bit sturdy. That's right. So obviously now we've just got our basic flat panel. Okay. And we need to obviously make sure that we can stand it up. I'm going to come in again four centimetres along this okay. flap here. Just mark that quickly there. Roughly in the it doesn't have to be that accurate. Okay. Just enough to give it that, that bow. Yes, I mean obviously you could you could do more than that. Okay. And again we'll just go four in here. Lovely. Okay. I see. I think I know where this is going. It's one of those things that when once you see it, it's quite it's quite yeah. obvious. So there, we have a little tap uh, for that, yes. and that one goes along, hopefully, like so. Ah, yes. So you've got your front panel that's sort of three-dimensional. Very nice. So I've obviously just really started to decorate this one already with the gorgeous papers. Oh, rather lovely. I love this purple. That's really <clears throat> it nice. It is really nice, isn't it? So I need to create an aperture in there okay. for our little girl to sit in. <clears throat> I've used the stamp out of this pack. This is the Dear Apple, which is ah, very cute, isn't lovely, it? isn't it? It's so I've used sweet. this frame here, which I've already... Oh, I see. You've stamped and then cut him out. I okay. have, yes. Got you. So we're going to put that one on the front. Lovely. Lovely stuff. And then, just work out where I would like it. We'll go about there. And just open it out again, and then just cut your, it's quite thick, but hopefully with a craft knife, we'll get through. You just want to work nice and slowly, don't you, with these multiple yes. layers, so you don't, don't sort of slip by mistake, that's good. Have we good gone stuff. through? No. Yeah, but with multiple layers, it's often, often the case you need to go around again, so it's no problem. Take that one off. Okay, there we are. Very so nice. That's our aperture. Beautiful. There's a little bit of a little bit of white showing there, so we might just you can always just run your. Ah, oh, that's a good tip. So I've been using this pack, which is I love this one. 
the countryside borders. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Just to start layering up that sort of sort of sitting. The idea is she's sort of sitting in, sounding in a field. It's lovely. Sort of I really like it. So I've used sort of different papers. I mean, they're really lovely. These sort of greens yeah. and sort of as it sort of like an ombre sort of effects. It's all going darker as it definitely goes along. But they're they're really nice for sort of layering up. So what I'll do is I'll just put a couple behind the aperture. Okay. And the rest are all going on the front. But it just gives us that nice layered effect. Okay. So we'll put that just see it through the, let's get a rough idea where oh, we want I it. I see, that's good. Oh yeah, that looks okay. great. But even just one just gives us a nice little yeah. effect really, doesn't it? You could also layer these up with foam pads if oh, you wanted course. extra, the extra look of three dimensional. But again, if we want to put it in an envelope. Something to be aware of definitely, isn't it? How many it? layers you want to put in there. So you can add as little as, as many, many as, as you, you want, like, really. Yeah, definitely. That looks pretty lush to me. Yes, it's getting there, isn't it? So I think we need a little gorgeous character I think now, so. don't we? Yeah, why not? Okay. So you've stamped her sort of multiple times yes. onto the different papers and then cut out the little bits and pieces. I have. And jigsawed her back together. I have. So I've just got a little bit more there to do. Okay. Um, what I find, this is from the ultimate die cut and paper pack sometimes if I just want a little area because I want a pale area for this okay and I just use little elements oh, that's that's like a little box and if I don't always use them I sometimes just like to cut them out and use them for other things yeah definitely so I'm just going to use that pale bit so I've got okay. that bit there now all I need really is that little piece in the middle okay because these, stamp go, these uh, stamps go onto a clear block, you can really see where you're stamping, can't you, yeah, as well? Yeah, so it's brilliant, so you can, so you can make sure you really right press, it, press it down everywhere. So I'm, I'm just going to cut out that little piece that I need to finish off. Looks good. Okay. Very nice. So there we there are. There she is. Now she's looking a little bit pale. Just going to use the block again. Okay, so you're just scribbling onto the block there. Yeah, and a little bit of water. Okay. So you sort of get a little bit of a coloured effect. But again, it just gives you, so you can add a bit of yeah. shading and... Let's give her a bit of a rosy cheek, I think. Well, that's better. She looks a bit healthy. That now. looks nice. But I mean, it doesn't take much just to give it a little tiny bit of brilliant colour. Oh, she looks okay. great. I won't worry about cutting that centrepiece out because it will give her an extra bit of strength because we're not going to actually see that. Thank you, Dick. See that area. Okay, so if we pop her there, I'll just add another couple of layers. Thank you, Dick. I'll just do one, I think. I mean, this is the beauty of it. You can just use as many as you like. Exactly. Absolutely. So we'll just pop oh, one yeah. along there. So that's obviously the sort of main body of the great. card. You can really see the 3D look there. And then we need to Brilliant. just decorate our little panels on the front. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Good okay. On we go. I'm going to pop our cutting pad on top. Oh, lovely. That's perfect. Don't want to hide too much of her. <laughs> okay. Very good. Same on the other one. So that's nearly done now. We just need to decorate this front panel. Okay. And add a little small sentiment. Brilliant. So again, I've got this from the Ultimate die cut and paper pack. They're great, aren't they? I really like those. Yeah, it is sweet. So just to sort of neaten it up a little bit. Yeah, that does look good. We'll just add our little border. Here we're nearly there. Q 
cute little bow. Oh, these are lovely, aren't they? They're really good size as well. Really I like sweet. those big ones. And we've just got a little. Again, these are all from the die cut and paper pack. I am a fan of the, uh, the those fantastic value A4 decoupage packs. There's so packs. much They're in them. They are they? really good for just endless bits and pieces. I'm just going to put that on there just to make it slightly, slightly bigger. Is it going to work? Yes, I think it might work over there. Very nice. So now we can put it together. So obviously we get the fantastic general gist. Brilliant. That looks that looks really lovely. And then obviously I've used some of these nice iridescent. Oh yeah, I do like those stones just to decorate around, around the outside. Brilliant. What a fantastic card. Thank you so much You're for sharing welcome. us that. And that's a really clever idea you could use on, on all sorts of projects, couldn't you? That uh, three-dimensional when it's out on your mantelpiece, but nice and flat to post it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If you've enjoyed Sarah's project today, why not leave us a comment to let us know? We'd also love to see what you've been making. You can upload your own makes to docrafts.com so we can pop along and take a look. If you're after more inspiration, why not like our Facebook page? There's loads of great projects, hints and tips, as well as giveaways and free downloads. Until next time, happy crafting. Yeah.